I'm a first generation farmer. Uh, me and my wife started Clark Family Farms in 2009. We started with a few cows in our backyard and uh, we've kind of progressed a little bit to, to where we are now. Uh, now we're running about 75 head. How long has the farm been in your family? Well, me and my wife started in 2009. Okay. I kind of always had a passion for it growing mm -hmm. up around it and we, uh, we started just on a whim and grew it to what it is today. Why beef cattle? I, I just always enjoyed them and I, I tried goats and, and sheep and just the, the cows always just kind of stuck. I just, they were, they were very peaceful animals to me. The kids are, are showing livestock now, so they're showing cattle. My, my, they're showing at the county fairs and stuff like that. Uh, so we're, we're really enjoying seeing the, that happen in our kids. Um, and hopefully that'll kind of seed them into the next generation to take the farm over. So yeah. then the, the farm can become a multi-generation you know, operation. So. And then you can retire. I hope. I hope. <laughs> so like I said, we, we raise our cattle on grain finish. So they spend the, the end stages of their growing cycle in a feedlot. Hay alone, is, it's hard to, to sustain an animal just on the nutritional quality of hay. There's a lot of people that, that grass finish uh, their cattle. We personally prefer to grain finish ours. Um, and for the consumer, what difference does that make? People that grass finish can get a good marbling in their steaks. The marbling comes a little easier with grain because you're able to, to provide a fattier diet. Marbling and fat equates to flavor and, and tenderness a lot. People are able to get it out of grass finish it if they're if they're good at that. I'm not. <laughs> so. Join us next week on Carolina Soil with me, Emily, for anything and everything agriculture.